What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video. My name is Stratus and today we are doing top 100 anime tier list. And I know it's very weird for my usual gaming videos, but I wanted to just put out something, just something small, you know, just right now. Um, and I saw this on TikTok and I was like, that'd be fun. What if I did this? Me personally? Sounds fun. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rate these. And the way I'm gonna rate them is S being like, it was game changing. It made me cry. Or it was like, it was really good. Like it was the best thing in. A being, you know, it was it was really, you know, pretty good. You know, I like, y'all recommend it. B being, it was pretty mid. You know, I'd probably just tell someone it's not really, you know, it's pretty, it's all right, I guess. But like C being, it's not really for me. Um, I personally, I watched it, but I didn't, I couldn't really get into it. It was, it wasn't really meh. It was just like, you know, just the one time. D being, I just didn't like it at all. It just wasn't for me, which I probably wouldn't put no anime down there that I could think of at the moment. But um, yeah, uh, let's get started. And you already know the bottom where it says, you know, I never watched. So, so we got here. Okay. Okay. So a lot of these I have not watched. So bear with me. This, I have not seen it before. So we're going to put that there. Okay. I don't know what Bakano is, but yeah. Naruto, S tier. This anime revolutionized anime as a whole. Same with Shaputin. These were like gas. These are like, mm, put them up there. Okay, Fairy Tale. Me personally, it was pretty. It's pretty. This is oh, this is a personal opinion. Like this isn't like you know all around sort of thing. I could change it later on, but as of right now, it's pretty. I couldn't really get into Fairy Tale. I don't know why, but I don't know. I haven't seen this. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, A tier. Um, I'm not gonna put it with like S or like Naruto. That's like for all the big, all the big ones. You know, Cowboy Bebop was really good, but I don't think it was just like, you know, revolutionary <laughs> to my eyes. I haven't seen this. Dragon Ball Z, that's going up there in the S tier. It's, first off, RP Akira Toriyama, much love. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really good. Okay, I haven't seen this. This is on my watch list though. It is something I wanna watch. Uh, same with this. Never watched this. Haven't watched that. Never watched that. Black Butler. That's same thing with Fairy Tale. It was just pretty mid, below mid for me. Really couldn't get into it. Um, haven't seen this. Fate, heard about it. Wanna watch it, haven't seen it. <laughs> High School DxD. This is something for more of the adult audience. I saw it when I was younger, though. Regret it, but um, because you know it's for adults, it's big adult anime. But um, just because, just me personally, I give it a I give it a B. I'm just saying, it's full of. Well, it's basically just a bunch of fan service. Me personally, I enjoyed it. Uh, well, to an extent, I didn't really enjoy the last, the fourth season. It was pretty, really off track. But I liked it, though. I liked it. Hunter x Hunter, A tier as well. Uh, I wouldn't put it above Cowboy Bebop, though. Matter of fact, let me arrange these. Hold on. I am pretty confident with A and B. Dragon Ball Z, I would put that above Naruto. Dragon Ball Z was more entertaining to me than, like, Naruto as a whole. Um, not as a whole, but, like, it was more entertaining to me to watch because, you know, it was just, it was that good. I haven't seen this, but it look, I don't know, I can't even read it. It looks like solo leveling, but I could be wrong. Haven't seen this, haven't seen that. Bleach, haven't watched it, but I know for a fact it is S tier. I'm not putting it above Naruto though. Um, I heard Bleach was amazing. Um, I need to watch it, and that's what they call it, the big three, because it wouldn't be big three if it was bad. Plus, it was really, it was, I heard it was really, really, really good. I need to watch that. I haven't watched this one. I haven't watched that one. Uh, I don't know what that is. I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it. A lot of these I have not watched. Okay. I haven't watched this one either. Attack on Titan. <sighs> Ooh, I wouldn't put it up there with the legendaries, but I would put it above Cowboy Bebop in my opinion. It was way more entertaining to me. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I see one that I'm excited to get to after this one. I have not watched it. <laughs> Personal opinion on this one. 
Devil a part timer was really good to me. I'm um, not putting it above Cowboy Bebop or Hunter x Hunter, but I definitely would recommend um, Devil's a part timer to people. That's a really good one. Same for this one. I would put. I definitely put it. Yeah. A A tier. A, a tier. Yeah, I put it A tier. I forgot the name, but I have watched it. I just forgot. Oh, it's like right there. I haven't watched this one. I haven't watched this one. I barely watched this one. Ooh, I see Tokyo Ghoul down there. <laughs> uh, I haven't watched that one. I haven't watched this one. I haven't watched that one. I haven't watched that one. Tokyo Ghoul. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that they're also divided up into different seasons. This is the first season of Tokyo Ghoul which I found more entertaining than a lot of these. Definitely put it up here. Oh, damn. Nah, ah, mm. Ooh, but I wanna put that above attack on Titan though. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's hard. I wouldn't put it above attack on Titan. It, AOT had a better, but the season one though. Ooh. Is this attack on Titan as a whole or? Yeah, that's a, that's AOT as a whole. Yeah, I'm, as a whole, I'm putting it above. Yeah, okay. Haven't watched this one. Haven't watched you. Okay, this can also go both ways because it was good until the very recent season. Just like you know, like Tokyo Ghoul and like High School DxD. It was good up to a point. I'm not putting it above Cowboy Bebop or Hunter x Hunter though. I, I couldn't. Uh, the only thing good about it to me was Bon and Escanor. That was the only thing good to me about that anime. I haven't watched this, heard good things though. Okay. Seen it, gruesome. Watched it once. I've watched High School DxD more than once. I definitely will put this above Fairy Tail though. Actually, no, I put it as a B. It was really good. It was actually really good. Haven't watched it. Haven't watched it. Haven't watched it. This. Ooh, this is season two. Mm. Oh wait, no, this is season. F wait, is that? That's A. That, no, that's this. This one is white here. Yeah, this was. Okay, I'm gonna put it next to it because honestly, it wasn't bad and it was pretty good. I loved it. Everything up until season four was pretty, was, no, everything was good, but season four was, I, I hate that whole like split thing. Okay, is Psyche K on this list? No, he is not. <gasps> I see four, I see like six animes on here that I'm like excited to get to. I'm gonna figure it out on. Okay, Food Wars. I put that above Tokyo Ghoul most definitely. Food Wars was a personal favorite of mine that I enjoyed a lot. I love just like how every time they ate something just like magnificent to their taste buds, their clothes would just fly off and it was hilarious. It was downright one of the funniest things I have seen in a food anime. I didn't think I was gonna enjoy it. I loved it. Okay, I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen that one. One Piece, don't even gotta say it. I put it above, mm, mm, above Nart. Mm. I put it above Naruto. One Piece was definitely better than Naruto, in my opinion. Uh, I haven't seen it. Oh wait, is this what I think it is? I have seen it. I only watched it once though, so I didn't really know much about it, so I can't really give it a definitive like. Hold on, let me just. Can I create? Uh. I can't create it. Dang. Okay, well, I'm gonna put it right. I'm gonna put it. Okay, D. I'm gonna. I'm gonna relabel D. I'm gonna relabel D as seen it, forgot about it. Ooh, my keyboard. Okay, seen it, forgot about it. I'm gonna put that as that. In that case, I'm gonna put a bunch of them in here that I have seen that I have forgotten about. So you go here too, you go here, 
Hmm. I feel like I've seen... Wait. No, wait, what am I talking about? I've seen this. This is sorted out online. Yo, bro, getting C tier. Oh my god. Everything at okay, I I put it above fairy tale, I believe. Nah, after fairy tale. Hmm. Fairy tale's not even that bad. I'll put it in B. I'm not gonna lie. It's not as bad as pff, season one was really good. Um, was pretty good. I don't say really good, pretty good. Uh seen it but forgot about. I don't put that down here too. I'm not gonna act like I actually know a lot about this show. But um yeah. It was, okay, actually, now that I'm doing this, I'm putting a lot of them in here. Seen it, but forgot about it. Uh, yeah, I'm putting one of those in there. Yeah, it was, season, I wouldn't put it with, it's not, mm, it's way worse. It's, mm, 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 mm. I would say it's not as good as fairy. Dang. Yeah, Natsu's better. Natsu, you're. I'm giving you justice. Natsu's a really good character. I'm putting you up there. Uh, haven't seen it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, yes, I have seen. Wait, 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 wait. This is the anime where. Isn't this the anime where the guy? Wait, hold on. What's Charlotte about? Let me look. I'm looking at him. Hold on. It takes place in a rally where a small percentage of children manifest super abilities. Yes, this is the anime about where like this guy is able to take away people's abilities and use them, but his mind gets more warped. Uh, a focus, yeah, he like take control of their body for a couple seconds or something like that. Who awakens the ability to temper? Yep, temporarily possess others, which brings him to the attention of eh, student council president. A student founded having children with such abilities. Yep, watched it but forgot about it. I know, actually, no, putting it in D tier. It's below Fairy Tale. Uh, no, I mean, below with Sword Art Online. Actually, mm, mm, uh, mm, yeah, for 13 episodes, which wasn't that engaging for me. I liked it. I know for a fact I, I liked it when I watched it, but I've forgotten about it heavily. So I can't really put much on that. Haven't seen it. Haven't seen it. Yep, I've seen this though. Whew, this anime was missed up above fairy tale but not above uh not above high school dxd in my opinion it was really good i liked it a lot so and this is just putting me on a <laughs> me just talking about how i put high school dxd as the start of b tier she says a lot about me uh which is weird because my favorite anime which was my first anime is not in here for, for those who don't know let me just show this was my first anime to love rue so, Two Love Rue was my favorite anime um, before someone else took the place because it was my first anime that I have ever watched. Like, I I can I can list every character right here except for these two. I for, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna turn pretend I forgot about these. I know who these two are. Yuki Rito, I think Yami. I'm pretty sure Yami, like Golden Darkness, or something like that. I don't know. Momo. Lala and no no this is Lala Momo Nana that's what it is and I can't remember these perfectly because I watched the entirety anime like multiple times like I said first anime don't judge me <laughs> uh haven't watched it forgotten about it haven't watched it <sighs> can I like can I create yeah, I had a row above. We're gonna call this like personal number ones because that's what we're gonna call these. Right, that's what we're, gonna, we're gonna call this new row personal number one. Gonna make it. So my personal opinion for my personal number ones, I will start putting up in here. Ones that have gone above and beyond of just like making me happy, loved it, just straight good. Dragon Ball will go in there. I'm not gonna say these were pretty good, but you know, really just really impacted my life like that. That's where I just like went, oh my god, it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> we're throwing that in there too. Okay, I'm not putting up a Dragon Ball, of course. 
but um okay personally <laughs> these are my number ones that i would like go above and beyond and recommend people even though like it wasn't as good as a lot of these like even though like, i know i had him like over here but like me personally i would recommend people above all of these read or read watch because it's just really good to me but like compared to all the other ones on the list i had to put them group them by like you know the reason why i made this list because right here assassin sorry, assassination classroom I'm putting it above these this okay I, I know i put it in front of dragon ball but like it's just this anime was the first ever anime to actually make me cry and for context behind that there was a scene in the end of the anime if you don't watch it spoilers but um there was a scene where koro sensei was finna was about to die he had all his students hold him down god just thinking about it he tells them before i go let's take one last roll call oh my god God, and he started calling everyone's name one by one, and they all sat here crying with some sad music in the background. That junk had me crying, dude. And just to know that it was Nagisa that had to end him, ah, uh, it was so good. <sighs> okay, I haven't watched it. Okay, heard good things about it, I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it. Hi Q. Heard good thing I watched it. One Punch Man. Okay. A tier above from Boris. It was really good. Attack on Titans good. Where it stands right now? No. But manga wise, yes. This is a manga though. This is the anime. So I wouldn't put it above it. Boom. Boom. I haven't watched it either. Kanasuba. <laughs> I was I was waiting to get to this one. Above my number one favorite anime right now, it, it is. It's been my favorite for like the past two two years. Kanasuba is so funny. It's so good. Uh, Soul Eater. I put that in A tier below One Punch Man. Yeah, Soul Eater was pretty good. Funny, good, action-packed. I liked it. Um, I think about it. I put Food Wars below Tokyo Ghoul Season One. Season Two, it can stay where it is, but Season One, it was above Food Wars. Um, High School of the Dead. Liked it. There was a lot of yeah, but I liked it. I put it. <laughs> I put it. Above, uh, nah, below fairy, below fairy tale. But I put it in B. Yeah, something I'd recommend people. It was just you know pretty all right. One, uh, My Hero Academia. I put it in A tier above. Yeah, that sounds right. I put it in A tier above Soul Eater. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say that. Um, it's above Soul Eater most definitely. And I consider it a really good anime. Um, fandom. Y'all can be a little weird, but it's a pretty good anime. Re Zero, you are going up next to Kanasuba. Not only are, let me get the picture actually, hold on. It has been confirmed that Kazuma Sato and Subaru would be basically almost brothers. They would be the best of friends. And it has been shown in the, in like this little crossover anime like thing that they are friends that they bonded over dying and being reincarnated into another world living in their situation that they're in Subaru being jealous of Cosmo because of his luck Cosmo feeling bad for Subaru because of his way he is like that they bounce off of each other perfectly personality wise oh they get me started these two are my favorite MCs of all time I love them they deserve a whole movie 
dedicated to like their world like them meeting up in like the same world or something like that and like becoming friends like that because you know there is a demon king and stuff like that in kanasuba there's a demon king inside of like you know re-zero they would be amazing friends just coming together fighting for, with each other side by side can you imagine that like kazuma firing an arrow and like always trying to like hit things from a distance, help Subaru with a little bit of, with his luck and magic stuff like that. And Subaru just going in for like kills and stuff like that with his ability, his ghost hand and stuff like that, his unseen hand. You know that'd be crazy. And with the way Cosmo's luck can work, who knows? Maybe if Subaru dies and goes back, Cosmo can like go with him with his extreme amount of luck and just high and like high and like in this high luck. Be like hey, I'm everything. Why? Cause I, don't, I guess I got lucky. You know, something like that. Maybe a stone hits him on the head and he gets like his oh no, it'd be perfect. Back to the tier list after me geeking out over Kazuma and Subaru. Um heard good things. Haven't seen it. Haven't seen it. Haven't seen it. Mob Psycho. Okay. I put this. I put this above Soul Eater in A. I'm not gonna lie. Mob Psycho is one of those animes that are really good that you just have to watch it's just it's just goaded i don't really want to say much about it mob is amazing he's a really good character kana super season two i haven't watched it yet about to watch it i don't care you're going up there with kana super season one if you're just if you're as good as i know you're going to be then yeah haven't seen you haven't seen you high school d uh, my hero academia i haven't seen a bad my hero yet i'm not gonna lie it's been it's pretty just my hero so just put them both together I haven't seen this one I haven't seen this one overlord have heard a lot of good things about it a lot of good things actually people said it was like really good I think I think he was actually in the anime crossover between Kazuma and Subaru I need to rewind I need to watch that I need to watch that Where, what did I pull up here I, I put something up here pop up on occasion Oh, my hero. Here we go. I'm putting this behind this one. I think it's like season one, two, and three. Um, watched it, just forgot about it. Death Note. We are putting this high A above my. Mm, <sighs> below. Mm, that's such a low blow to put it, though. You want to put that below my hero? I don't know. Nah, we'll have to put it below My Hero, below Mob Psycho, but above Soul Eater. Death Note was a really good anime that I recommend if you watch. Light was amazing. Ryu was good. Where's Baki? I don't see Baki on this list. Yo, just just imagine there's like a picture of Baki Hama right here, bro. Baki was an amazing character that deserves to be up here. Okay, I made a modification. I'm gonna do this real quick. Um, so I'm putting, I added two. Which are my personal favorites. So we're putting heists. We're putting um, two love Rue up here, uh, above you know the others. Uh, actually, we're gonna put. Yeah, we're gonna keep dragging about where it is because it made me cry. Oh, the only reason why you know what you're going low, you're only up here because you were my first anime. Realistically, I probably put you around B or probably high B, low A. Um, Baki, that's a different story. Baki is definitely going up here high on my list it's really good okay let me be a realist about this when it's like really good you're going above here because dragon ball is dragon ball there's no topping that out of all of these unless you're like into like high comedy yeah it's my personal list what am i talking about put you here put you here put you there i enjoyed okay as much as i love dragon ball there was some times where it was pretty slow which was for story related things which is normal which is fine when it ramped up, it ramped up perfectly. Super Saiyan, ooh, I had me so hyped. But Baki, in my opinion, there, you can never go wrong with a good episode of Baki. It was really good. Personally, I always put you up here because you were my first. And that's about it. You're pretty good, though. Uh, yeah. Haven't seen, haven't seen you. Haven't seen you. Haven't seen you. Haven't, wait, this is, no, no, and no. There is one anime we'll put up here as well. Hold on. 
I definitely put you above my Academia. I'm not gonna lie. The way the story is, it's just really good. I loved it. I I saw no. You know what? Let me sort this out properly. In my opinion, this was above Death Note. This was above Death Note 2. My hero's pretty good, but yeah, I'm comfortable with what I have right now. Yeah, this this is the list. This is what I have. It's everything I have for my personal, it's my S tiers, it's my A tiers, my B tiers, C tiers, forgot about it, seen it, forgot about it, and then my D tiers. This is I'm very set for this. This seems about right to me. Hey y'all, it's Stratus here, and I'm editing this video at the moment. I forgot about three animes to mention while making this video, and I want to give a special, like, you know, talk about them real quick. Um, that goes to Cyberpunk Edge Runners, which Edge Runners is the reason why Cyberpunk, the video game, has revived its fan base, and I had fun with it before, you know, the show came out, but I loved it, and the series was amazing. And another shout out to Psyche K, an amazing anime about a guy that loves jello pudding basically or something like that or coffee jelly or whatever it is and who is a very good psychic another shout out to another anime um dr stone amazing anime i recommend watching it if you love science and you love just like prehistoric activities about the modern world getting collapsed and like things in the future it's a really good watch i loved it um and yeah i hope y'all love this video and peace.